Or I just got off the flight from Philly here at SFO and about an hour into the six hour journey cross country, the news about Brock Purdy hit. Torn UCL, fully ruptured, which is the news the 49ers did not want to hear. There are gonna be a couple options for Brock Purdy and the 49ers are still investigating which one is best because a new technology the Tommy John surgery, which is the dreaded Tommy John surgery, which can have a year plus of recovery time, may not necessarily be the only way that Brock Purdy can go. He can also go with a less intensive surgery, an inner arm brace, they call it, to uh, come back a little bit sooner. So the 49ers are still investigating that, but the timeline for Brock Purdy is now at least six months before he can return. So first things first, Brock Purdy is tough as shit. He was playing yesterday and he threw two passes with a torn UCL. So there was a lot of misguided criticism of Brock Purdy not being tough enough. Well, he did end up coming back into the game, made himself available, and threw the football in the NFC Championship game against the best pass rush in football with a torn UCL. So first off, uh, Brock Purdy's toughness should never be questioned again. It shouldn't have been uh, questioned in the first place after he went through the oblique injury and all that rib pain to help the 49ers secure the division title in Seattle. But uh, two, as far as, you know, the practical effects of this injury, he's going to miss the entire offseason program. And this was, this is just, I don't want to say it's tragic, but it's highly disappointing for a guy who entered the NFC Championship game as the assumed QB1 for the 49ers heading into this offseason. Right now, the 49ers only have one quarterback on the roster who has a chance of being healthy for the offseason program, and that's Trey Lance. And even that quarterback is still in a walking boot right now after a second surgery for uh, the ankle issue that he dealt with fractured ankle then they had to remove about about a month ago they had to remove uh the screw out of trey lance's uh ankle because it was causing irritation so all four 49ers quarterbacks on the roster right now are currently hurt jimmy garoppolo is not going to be in the roster after march if he doesn't re-sign with the 49ers that obviously doesn't seem likely but this pretty injury does open up a bunch of opportunities or let's put rumors for the time being Tom Brady's going to be a free agent Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be a free agent at least if things uh, follow according to the current path and with uh, the 49ers QB room now a wide open wild west kind of mess we can theoretically see the 49ers going in any number of which directions the speculation is definitely going to go in a number of directions starting right now. I'm going to have a big show when I get back home. Just wanted to check in right after landing here from SFO. 49ers QB situation, wild.